Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to today's video. So I have just woken up. I decided to go onto YouTube and read some of your guys' comments on my previous videos. And a video that I created seven months ago now was a honest review on the brand new men's makeup range that Chanel launched called Chanel Du Bois. And a lot of your guys' comments on there were asking if I would come back months later and do a updated review on what I think of the products now after using them for the past couple of months. So I've been using them for seven months. I feel like now is a good time to come back and give you another honest review on how I feel about the products now. So we've got, or we're gonna talk about all three of their products. They've got an eyebrow pencil, they have a foundation, and then they have their lip balm as well, which a lot of you guys were interested to find out how I got on with the lip balm as it's not really something you can give an honest review on straight away once you've just first used it. Now before we crack on talking about the first product, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking onto my video. Don't forget to please go and click the subscribe button. And if you did enjoy this video at the end, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Now I went into the store, I purchased all of this makeup myself. The lovely ladies in the store, because I bought all three products, gave me this nice little pouch. And this has actually really come in handy. I take this on holiday with me, take it onto the plane, and obviously you can only travel on the plane with things up to 50 mil. So all of those little products go in here. So they're just easy to access. So let's open up the little pouch. And the first product I wanna talk about is the foundation. Now I just wanna address something. Obviously if you haven't watched my previous review video, I'll link it down in the description box below. Um, but something I actually mentioned on the video was about shades. And I know that the way that I explained it probably was wrong and I apologize for that. A lot of people have commented on that video talking about the shades and the way I explained them. And I just kind of want to rectify that and explain myself. So the Chanel de Bois collection of foundation comes in seven different shades. And the way that I explained it was that men don't need as many shades as women. And the way that I explained it was incorrect. I don't mean that there shouldn't be a shade for everyone. And that was not in my intention of how it should have come across. It was more just saying that me personally as a man and someone that wears makeup, when I go into a store and there's so many different shades, it's quite overwhelming. And for someone, a man that's stepping into the makeup world, if there's too much selection, it actually puts you off wearing makeup. And that's my own personal opinion. So what I meant is, even though there's seven shades, there is actually still, in my opinion, a shade for everyone. Something that's really light, something that's in the middle and in between, and then something that's really dark as well. So there should be a shade there for all skin tones. But what I meant was how some collections of makeup can have yellow undertones and orange undertones and blue undertones. It's so much and it's so overwhelming that maybe a collection can build up to that, but as a male specific collection, I feel like a smaller collection um, was better for men. Not the shades that they come in, just that the collection of tones and shades were smaller so it doesn't overwhelm people. So I hope I did explain that better. Please, if I still explained it wrong, don't hate on me. It was not intentional um, to discriminate any skin tones or anything like that. It was just kind of my explanation. Um, I'm still learning myself on the small amount of shades being less overwhelming. So I kind of wanted to put that one out of the way first to anyone that's re-watching kind of this video that watched the previous one. And also I'm not gonna go through everything about the products because I have obviously done a full review, so there's no point in me revisiting conversations and going over the same things I've already done. I'm just gonna talk about them now, um, honestly, of how I kind of feel like I've got on. So the foundation, I got two shades. I got the N30 medium light and I got the N40. And on my previous video, I said that I felt N40 was the perfect shade for me and I was correct. I haven't really used the N30 medium light that much because I normally do have some sort of tan from holiday or fake tans. Um, so that one's a little bit too light for me. Now in terms of the product and the price, the price of the foundation was 52 pounds. And obviously the point of the video was, was all of this collection worth 115 pounds? So we're gonna go through each product individually. This one, as much as it is a very expensive foundation, I do think it is worth the price. Now what I'm gonna do this time, instead of splitting it one foundation color, one side and one the other, now I know that the N40 medium is my shade. I'm gonna apply it to one side of the face just so you can see the difference of the products on and the products off. Something a little bit different. 
So, like I said in my previous video, you only need, oh, I've done it on the wrong hand because I'm not left-handed, I'm right, so let's just put it on there. Um, you only need one or two pumps of the product on your hand. This is still kind of lasted me from seven months ago. No, I haven't been using it every single day. Um, I'm kind of at the moment taking a step out of foundations, moving into more BB creams and CC creams as they're a little bit more natural. However, this foundation, I'll apply it while we talk, this foundation still, I feel, gives a very undetectable look to it. It's not kind of shiny or oily on your skin. It sits very naturally on, on the skin. We need a little bit more. Now the brush that I got from Chanel, a lot of people were asking in the previous video again, what brush is he using? This is uh, the foundation brush from Chanel. I can't remember the price exactly. It is quite expensive for a brush, so you're probably just better to go to another makeup store with a cheaper brush because it just does the same job for a cheaper price. So 52 pounds, do I think it's worth the price now? Yes, I do. It actually, even though I'm not using foundations as much as a minute, it is actually my favorite foundation that I've, I've used and using. And you do get a lot out of the product as well. So as much as it's 52 pounds, you don't have to use a lot of it to cover your skin. It goes a long way. So you might buy one product that you love and it's 25 pounds, but you might have to buy two of them over the space of the seven months. However, for me personally, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more because I wasted it putting it on the wrong hand. Um, me personally, that I use the product here and there, and obviously for the past seven months, I've still got probably half of the tub left. So you can only imagine how far it goes. I'm gonna do a little bit above the eyes. I'm just gonna blend this all in properly and then I'll come back and show you the result again and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. Now I'm sure you already know this, but the best thing to do is apply those two pumps and if it's not enough coverage, then just apply another pump, build on it because obviously the you can build on something, but if you put too much on, then you can't take it away. And obviously if you put too much on your hand as well, and then you don't need it, you've just wasted the product that costs you 52 pounds. So yeah, there is the side of it done now, and there's the side of it not. As you can see, it really is a great result in terms of foundation. I honestly would recommend this to any guy. Um, I just feel like the packaging is great. I feel like it really is a quality product. So in terms of the foundation, seven months later, I would 100% recommend this to anyone. So now let's move on to the next product. Now this is the eyebrow pencil. Now again, on the previous video, this one was, so it's 32 pounds for this. Again, different shades, I went for the deep brown. In terms of shades, it was the perfect shade for me. In terms of price, if I'm being brutally honest, let's just go in with the product again so we don't waste time. I actually have not used the product on my eyebrows. I'm not someone that, I've got quite bushy eyebrows anyway. I'm not someone that really uses an eyebrow pencil that much. However, I have found, which I showed on the previous tutorial and the previous review, that using it on your beard is perfect. It fills in gaps, it defines your beard, your jaw, you can sharpen the beard line, which I'm gonna do now and show you now. So it does have its benefits, a little bit different to kind of what it says on the tin, eyebrow pencil. Obviously, if you are someone that wants to do your eyebrows, it does them fine. I'm not saying it doesn't do the job for that. It's just not something that I really use it for. But in terms of price, for me, at 32 pounds for something that I'm just using on my beard, even if I was using it on my eyebrows, I feel like it's quite a hefty price. It's quite expensive. When I've used eyebrow pencils from other brands that have done a just as good a job. So I do think it's a good product. If you wanna go more premium, then 100% go and pick this product up. Um, but do I think it's worth 32 pounds? Yeah, but would I recommend you go and buy it over something that's a bit cheaper from another brand? Probably not. I would recommend you go and check out some other brands that do just as good a job for a much lower price. So I'm just going to trim this all up now, do this all properly so you can see the result, and then we'll come back and then talk about the last product, which everyone was dying to hear about, which is the lip balm. Okay, so I've sharpened that up a little bit. I've just realized I probably could have done with a little bit of a shave before we started this because I've got a few uh, hairs just sticking out at the top, but it is what it is. I can still see 
It's giving it a slight darkened shadow look to it, which will define your jaw. And then also it's got more of a sharp line. Obviously you do have to shave and groom to create more of a line anyway, um, but it's giving more of a line. And for someone who maybe has kind of problems with their hair not growing in certain areas. I am lucky that I don't deal with that or have that issue, but I know a lot of my friends and people do. You can just cover in that area with the eyebrow pencil and it will just then kind of hide that gap and blend it all in together. Again, just I would say this, make sure you find the right shade because this is deep brown. I was always before actually going into Chanel going for black and my beard is not black. So it's gonna disconnect the two colors and then it's gonna look obvious then that you're wearing it. And again, like I always say, don't go in with too much because it's gonna be hard to blend it all in. Just do little amounts, very like thin strokes on the face and then blend it in and build on it. Now the last product, the lip balm. I don't actually have it. It ran out quite quickly and then I think I lost the end part of the product. I always put a lip balm in my pocket when I go out and then I forget which pocket I've put it in and I didn't want to spend three hours going through every jacket I have just to find the lip balm. But to anyone that doesn't know what the lip balm looks like, I'll put the picture up there. It is 31 pounds and I know a lot of people said, wow, that is expensive for a lip balm. Now this is on an honest review. It's my own personal review. So I'm gonna just let you know that what I say doesn't mean um, it's not a good product. It doesn't mean it it's the truth like it's just my opinion in other words do i think it's worth 31 pounds no the product was good it felt good on the lips but i didn't actually see a great result myself from the product and obviously for 31 pounds it's very expensive for a lip balm i just think there's so many other brands that i've used as I said in my last video, I am someone that really struggles with dry lips. I have to apply lip balm all day. So I really did put the product to the test. I was using it for a couple of weeks um, to really just that product as well to see what the results came out like. And I wouldn't say it necessarily dried my lips out anymore, but it just didn't really recover my lips. It didn't hydrate them a lot. And I felt like the product went down very quick as well. It was more of a ball product, less of a liquid one. And I just feel like it ran out quite quickly and I feel like my lips just continued to be dry. So a lot of people were interested to find out my opinion on what I thought months down the line. I would say there's better products out there for a far cheaper price in terms of them. So to kind of sum up the whole collection, the foundation, invest the money into that, 52 pounds. It really is worth it if you wanna pick up a foundation. I think it's an amazing product, gives an incredible natural result. Um, the eyebrow pencil, again, as I said, it's quite expensive for what I'm using it for, which is just the beard, less of the eyebrows. And then finally, the lip balm. My own personal opinion is I wouldn't pick it up again. I think it's too expensive at £31 for the results that it gave. So I will be linking all the products down in the description box below if you want to go and read up about them yourself, check them out. As I said, also go and check out my review that I did. I've put the link down in the description box below. You can see all the information that I talk about about each product. And yeah, if you want to come over and follow me on Instagram as well, I'm doing loads of different makeup and skincare tutorials on there. I'll pop that down in the description box as well. Any questions, pop them down in the comments box. And yeah, if you are new to my channel and you've stuck with me all the way into the end of this video, you might as well now go and click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. But that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you did enjoy it and I will see you very soon on my next video. Take care. See you then.